it is my distinct pleasure to introduce this year's commencement speaker. Our commencement speaker this year is a very important member of the Obama administration in Washington. Catherine Archuleta is the director of the United States Office of Personnel Management and has served in this position since November 4, 2013. She is the first Latina to hold this post and very relevant to today's event, she began her career as a teacher in Denver, Colorado. She understands the role of education, especially colleges. Director Archuleta is not only passionate about champion education, but also about advancing an inclusive and engaged federal workforce. She provides her colleagues at all federal agencies the tools and support they need to hire, develop, and retain the very best employees. And she does this as a result of her experience from a long and distinguished career in public service. And that public service occurred at the local as well as the national levels. In fact, she previously served as a chief of staff for one of our past commencement speakers here at Miami-Dade, Secretary of Labor, Hilda Solis. In addition, she also served as chief of staff for former Secretary of Transportation, Federico Peña. Secretary Peña was later appointed to head the Department of Energy, and Director Archuleta served as his senior policy advisor. Director Archuleta earned a bachelor's degree in elementary education from the Metropolitan State University of Denver, and a master's in education from the University of Northern Colorado. Her life mission has been to champion teams that reflect the brilliant mosaic that is America. Ladies and gentlemen, I, pre I present to you our 2015 commencement speaker, the Honorable Catherine Archuleta, Director of the U.S. Office of Personnel Management. Let's give her a warm Miami-Dade College round of applause. Madam Director. Good afternoon. Thank you, Dr. Harrison, Dr. Padron, faculty and staff, and most importantly, graduates of Miami-Dade College, North Campus and West Campus, class of 2015, congratulations. You have done it. You have worked so hard to get to this day. You have overcome many obstacles, but you have persevered. You have excelled. All around this auditorium are the beaming faces of your mothers and fathers, your abuelitas y abuelitos, hermanos y hermanas, aunts and uncles, and of course your cousins. They have lived every day of this journey with you. Let's give them one more round of applause. Years ago, I was sitting in an audience just like this, and like you, I commuted to college. And like most of you, I worked my way through college. And I suspect, like many of you, for me, going to college was not automatic. I remember that in my senior year of high school, I was so excited to meet my guidance counselor to talk about where I might go to college and how I could apply. But instead of encouraging me to go to college, this counselor told me that I would become a great clerical worker. I agree. <laughs> that advice had nothing to do with my grades, which were actually quite good. It had everything to do with my last name. But I was lucky. There was an administrator in my school district who believed in me, 
who helped me apply to college and who helped me to get the financial aid I needed. Each of us, I am sure, has a story about how our path to college began. Sometimes the beginnings of the journey can be rough, but the road will become smooth when you know where you are going, when you travel with the right people, and when you are committed to reaching your goal. So now before you walk across this stage, receive your diploma, and begin your celebrations, I would like to share three thoughts that I hope you will remember for this day. First, be passionate about what you do. You've already begun to think about what you're going to do next, about how you can use the knowledge and the skills you've learned here at Miami-Dade, either at your next college or at a job. I urge you to stop for a minute. Stop and think about what you love to do. Think about what lights you up inside, what makes other things fade into the background when you think about it. Let those passions guide your way. I have, and it has never let me down. After graduating from Metropolitan State University in Denver with a bachelor's degree in education, I began my career teaching four and five-year-olds in an elementary school in Denver. Since then, I have had many jobs. Teacher, school administrator, chief of staff to mayors and to cabinet secretaries, and now the human resources leader for the largest employer in the country. And in each and every one of these positions, I have followed my deep commitment to strengthening the role of women and of people of color in public service. That passion has been my true north. It's the place I steer to no matter what I do. I urge you to find your true north. And I know that you've already started. It took passion and commitment for you and your families to overcome challenges and to do the hard work needed to begin your educational journey. I want to tell you about someone here you may already know. He was born in Bangladesh and came to the United States as a toddler. Like me, he's the first in his family to go to college. He managed a gas station so he could help his family and afford to attend Miami-Dade. Today, he is graduating with a 4.0 in computer engineering, and he has been accepted to Florida International University. It took passion, it took perseverance, and a lot of help from his loved ones and friends for him to be sitting here with you today. Tamim Delwar, would you please stand up? Where is he? There he is. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Tamim. <laughs> Tamim and I share a deep passion for our work and for our families. For both of us, perseverance has led us to succeed and to a tremendous sense of accomplishment for what we have done so far. Which leads me to my second piece of advice, and that is, don't be afraid to take 
risks. Every job you have will have some risks. You may question whether you made the right choice. Will this job get me to where I want to be? I urge you to find something at each step along your career path that you will learn from, that will test your strengths, that will open your eyes to something you never imagined. Take a chance. Let me tell you a little story about that. I was born and raised in Denver, and I spent my first career there as a teacher and a community advocate advocate. When my mentor Federico Peña was nominated to be President Clinton's Secretary of Transportation, he asked me to leave my safe, comfortable surroundings and join him in leading a major cabinet agency. Two things came to my mind about that ask. This sounds like a great opportunity, but did I want to leave my home, my family, and the friends I'd known for most of my life to take a risk at a job that I'd never done before and knew little about? I took a deep breath and said, yes. And for four years, I learned, I led, and I stumbled. Let me say, though, that it was that decision to leave my place of comfort and that decision alone to lean forward with fear pumping through every part of my body that led me to the position that I have today. So my message to you is this. Move away from what is comfortable. Embrace risk. Take that step into the unknown. You never know where it will lead. Liz Beth Chavis and her family know what it's like to take a risk. Liz Beth came to Florida with her family from Cuba when she was 15. As a teenager, Liz Beth had to leave the only home she had ever known. She has met every opportunity and challenge that Miami-Dade has presented her with, and she has succeeded. Today, Lisbeth is graduating with you with a 4.0 in biology from the Honors College and has been accepted into the University of Florida where she will, be, she will study to be a medical researcher. Where are you, Lisbeth? We're looking for her. Please stand up. You find her. <laughs> Congratulations. My third piece of advice to you is know that character matters. When First Lady Michelle Obama described her and the President's upbringing, this is what she said, quote, we learned about honesty and integrity, that the truth matters, that you don't take shortcuts or play by your own set of rules, and success doesn't count unless you earn it, fair and square, unquote. My parents instilled those values in me, and I'll bet your loved ones did so in you. Throughout my lifetime, there have been individuals who have tried to make me feel less than I am. Teachers who thought my skin color lessened my value as a student. Counselors who thought I was not worthy of educational success. And employers who thought me incapable of high performance because I am a woman. Now I could dwell on those, or I could celebrate the school administrator who saw my potential, the Denver leaders who recognized my commitment to public service and social justice, or the president who sought my skills and experience for his leadership team. Both 
are vivid in my mind. But the latter overcomes the former because it is those individuals whose character I wish to emulate. They are the ones I want to stand with. I say to you, choose carefully who is at your side. Be sure that the road you choose is traveled by those who have the values you want to make your own. Because character counts. So as you take your next steps into your life's journey, I again urge you to follow your passions. Make sure you bring a sense of purpose to whatever you do, and know that your character will be shaped not just by what you do, but by whom you stand with and how you treat others. Dream big, push yourself, and never let anyone else steal your dream. I didn't know when I was sitting in that in front of that high school guidance counselor, that someday I would be part of the president's leadership team. But I did know that I had more in me than what she believed. If you are strong of character, committed to your own success, and have the will to face and overcome your own fears, you too will set out on a path that will lead you to all you've dreamed. In fact, I predict that with the foundation that has been laid for you at home with your families and here at Miami-Dade, that sitting here today, you can't even imagine the heights you will reach the contributions you will make, and the glorious future you will have. Congratulations again, Miami-Dade College, Class of 2015. Thank you. Thank you, Director Archuleta, for those most thoughtful and inspiring words, particularly those three points of guidance I know will forever be in the minds and hearts and actions of our students. Let's have another round of applause for Director Archuleta. President Padron, Director Archuleta, would you please join me at the podium? Director Archuleta, it is now our honor to present you with an honorary degree. President Padron, Ms. Catherine Archuleta is an exemplary American who has made outstanding contributions to the betterment of society. Her personal and professional accomplishments have added an important chapter to the American dream story. Miami-Dade College is extremely proud to bestow her on her an associate in science degree, honoris causa. Catherine Archuleta, by the authority vested in the Board of Trustees, and by then in me, I'm honored to confer upon you an honorary degree in Associate of Science with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto among scholars everywhere. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.